everyone, it's Cindy from Stamped with Aloha. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to create a fun fold graduation card. So let's go ahead and get started on today's project. Well, if you were a part of my Symbols of Fortune class last month, you learned how to create this kimono card. Uh, demonstrator Missy Shipman of the Gladheart Stampers did a great job explaining how to put this kimono card together. And so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I use this template, but I turned it into a graduation gown card. So we're gonna begin our card with a piece of five and a half by eight and a half of garden green cardstock. I'm gonna be using my paper trimmer. I'm gonna open up the top here and I'm going to line my cardstock at two and one eighth inch. And then I'm going to score it. Then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna flip the cardstock to the opposite side and I'm gonna score it in the same place one more time. So two and one eighth inch. Okay, so when you're done putting the two score lines on, you have created a gatefold card. The next thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna cut the sleeves. So the way that we're gonna do that is to take the cutting blade and we're gonna line it up at three quarter inches. So I'm gonna line it up like that. Then I'm gonna take my card I'm gonna carefully slide it underneath the blade and I'm going to line it up at two inches. So this is at two inches here. This is at three quarter inches there. And I'm just gonna press down and I'm gonna slice across and cut a little slit in the card. Okay, then I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna bring my blade back to that three quarter inch mark. Then I'm gonna take my card, I'm gonna flip it upside down, carefully tuck this under and line it up at the two inch mark. And then because my blade is exactly where I want it to go, I'm just gonna press down and cut across just like that. Okay, so now we have the two slits cut in the side that will form the sleeves of our gown. Okay, after I've scored the sides, I'm gonna then turn the card and I'm gonna try to go as straight as I can and I'm gonna fold in the side Okay, and I'm gonna fold in the opposite side. Okay, and I wanna take a look at it and make sure that it looks straight. That looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my bone folder and crease it on both sides. Okay, then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna flip it backwards and I'm gonna crease it again. Okay, so once you've creased those really well with the bone folder, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck them in. So I'm gonna just lift up the side, I'm gonna push that in and push it down and then use my bone folder to crease it one more time. So lift it up, push it in, and then use my bone folder again. And just like that, you have the shape of a graduation gown, okay? So the next thing that we need to do is we need to form the collar. So if you remember on the kimono card, the easy way we did that was just to eyeball it and then we just folded it in and we just made a collar um, out of the designer series paper. Now with the cardstock, if we were to do that, it's possible, but it also is likely that the cardstock would tear a little bit because it's a lot thicker than the designer paper. So I find that an easy way to do that is with either a die or a punch. So for this card, I'm gonna go ahead and use the retired Taylor Tag Punch. I'm going to take the center of the punch and I'm going to line it up on the seam where those two pieces of cardstock come together. And then as evenly as possible, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to punch this out. Okay, and now I have a nice neckline to the top of my gown. Okay, for our next step, we are gonna add the skin color. So for the person that I'm giving this to, I chose Petal Pink. This is a two and a half by five and a half piece of cardstock. So you can use whatever skin color you want. And then before you glue it down, just make sure it's gonna fit. Because of the way that you folded the end, sometimes you might need to trim off a little bit to make sure that this is gonna fit nicely. So I'm gonna place this in here and it looks like it's gonna be just perfect. And so I'm gonna line it like that and just make sure it looks good. And then I'll go ahead and add my adhesive to the back. Now keep in mind that there is a little space right there so you don't wanna put adhesive right here at the top. So otherwise I'm gonna take my adhesive and place it on the back and then I'll glue this down. For the next step, I'm gonna be doing some stamping. I'm gonna stamp this sentiment 
congrats to the graduate. And I'm gonna stamp that on a piece of basic white cardstock that I die cut using the Beautiful Shapes dies. So let me lay my cardstock here. I'm gonna be using Memento ink. I'm gonna ink up my stamp and then stamp that right in the center. Okay, so now I have my cap ready to go. So let me bring my card over. All right, next we're gonna add a belly band. So I have a one by seven and a half piece of garden green cardstock. I'm gonna place this behind the back of my gown and then I'm going to just carefully wrap it like this. Now, if you have tear tape, that will work the best, but because I just have my green glue handy, I'm gonna go ahead and use that. That'll work as well. You just wanna make sure that you don't put too much of the green glue so that it might seep over onto the card because you need this belly band to be able to move and slide. So you'd wanna make sure you don't put too much glue. But again, if you have tear and tape, that's the best. Because I use the green glue, I wanna secure this part right here with a dimensional. So I'm gonna place a dimensional right there just to help hold that on there. Then I'll just take and pop a dimensional in the center, and then that one's gonna go, and a dimensional on this side as well. Take off the backing there and then I'll place the cap on the top of the card. All right, so the basic template of a card is done, but before I show you how I'm gonna personalize this for the University of Hawaii graduation, I'm gonna show you a couple other versions of this card. So this card here was made for Abby, who's gonna be graduating from a school in the Midwest. These are her school colors, and then I've added some crushed curry cardstock into the shape of gold cords. And I just use my paper snips to just cut the edge of this cardstock to like make it look like a little tassel there. All right, and then the next card I did was for Eliza here, who's graduating as well from a school in Canada. And so here you can see, I just added strips of cardstock in her school colors to the top of a black gown so that it would, it would match and be personalized for her graduation. Okay, so let me show you next how we are gonna personalize this for a Hawaii graduation by adding these beautiful flower lays. So I have a piece of evening evergreen cardstock. I'm gonna take and do the Laura's tape technique where I have a piece of clear packing tape and I'm going to carefully line this up on the edge of the cardstock. You wanna lay it down as smooth as possible. Then I'm gonna take the punch and I'm gonna punch out leaves like this. For the card, I'll need four leaves. And then I also use the Eden dies. So this is one of the dies from the Eden dies. And well, actually I can show you two of them, but you can see the Eden dies uh, make these really pretty die cut pieces that actually look like lays. So you could use both of them, but for this card, I'm just gonna use this one here. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to adhere these to the front of the card with some glue. And I'm, I will be using scissors to trim this off here, the stem. And then I'll also be using my scissors just to trim off so that just the sides here is all that I need for the front of this card. All right, let me go ahead and put that together. All right, so now the lays are on there. So I'm just going to take the belly band and I'm going to just place this on there like so, and then I'll carefully slide this up. And there you go, you have a completed card. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this fun fold graduation card. A special thanks to demonstrators Don Oshevsky and Missy Shipman for sharing this fun template. I'm so glad that I was able to adapt it for my graduation cards this year. And I hope that this idea has inspired you with whatever cards you'll be creating for graduation season this year. I look forward to sharing more ideas with you in the future. So I hope you'll come back and join me again. Until then, aloha.